Hi, once again it's Frank, and tonight, actually it is night, we're going to be making chicken soup along with cutting up a chicken that will be available for meat for my wife to be able to take to work for lunch every day. We pick up this chicken, it's a rotisserie chicken, and we pick it up at Sam's Club. It is really an awesome deal. They do $4.98 for a full size, really nice rotisserie chicken. It doesn't make any sense to cook when they do it every day and they do it well. So what we're going to do tonight is we're going to cut up this chicken and then we're going to save some of the meat uh, for my wife, the breast and some other things. We're going to take the leftover meat, the bones and other things. We're going to put them in a, uh, into a soup, uh, into a slow cooker and we're going to create the chicken soup. We're going to do that with uh, cheesecloth. Uh, holding all the bones to get the marrow with some aromatics and other things and we'll start right now. So what we're going to do is pull this chicken out of its out of the, uh, the container that it comes in, get rid of some of this gel that comes with it and we'll just set this aside. Actually we'll put this over here for, for leftovers. I'm using my excellent kuma knife. It's a Japanese knife and this will work very well. First thing we have to do of course is cut out the the ties and get the uh, legs separated and we'll do that if we can find the way that this actually wraps somewhere in here there we go comes around and then it'll go over the over the wing and then come around the other wing and then we're done so we're good with that alright so the first thing we're going to do basically keep our hands clean obviously we're going to cut into this uh, into this meat we're going to just basically take our knife and and we're going to start carving this it takes very little effort to get the the drumsticks and the thighs separated we'll just do very very easy cutting down through here we'll get it out and we'll just keep a little pressure on until we get it down a little bit we'll get a little bit in here and she's ready to go so we'll just break it down and then separate it and there is your chicken wing we'll probably take this a little bit here and we'll also just separate the uh, thigh from the from the leg there is a little knuckle in there that we gotta find and once we find it we can just cut it down and that's what it looks like the thigh is done the drumstick is done we've got good meat here then we're gonna do exactly the same thing to the other side we're just going to take it and just going to basically cut these little bits of stuff off here that make it easy to separate the thigh and the and the uh, drumstick from the rest of the carcass. It really is very easy. You don't have to use a lot of pressure and there we have it once again another one just perfect. So we'll do this one as well. We'll cut down we'll find that that little bit there that's the, the, there it is it comes off so easy and there's another drumstick we'll just do that and we'll put the thigh now what a lot of people don't realize we're going to save a lot of these little bits of meat that we have here because these are all going to go into the soup we're going to put it in a in a cheesecloth that's going to add flavor so now what we're going to do is basically go down the middle and this is where we want to just be very careful we're just going to find it we're going to just run down the side we're going to just find just work it down work it down you're going to have to pull out just find these little bits of places where you get as much of this meat off of here as you possibly can as you're cutting and just there it is and we're just going to cut down through there and take it down and here we have basically a perfect breast and that is a beautiful breast that's ready to go that goes into the bin over here where we're saving it for a wife and then we're just gonna we have this this metal bone here we're just gonna keep on trucking right down the bone just feeling our way along here finding this little bit pulling out cutting pulling out cutting and look at that look at that there's a bone there so we're just gonna get this down there we'll get that out and we're pretty much done with the breast and there it is we can take the wing off if we want and we just put the wing separately not that my wife really likes uh, the wings and here's another one we just take that wing we'll put it there we can do something with it now there's a lot of meat left over here uh, just little bits and pieces 
we're going to use that to flavor the soup. So we're going to make sure that we don't, don't uh, destroy all that. We're basically going to separate a lot of this carcass. We're going to keep all of this little bits of meat here uh, off. We're going to keep it and take off little bits of meat like this. We're going to hold those off to the side. Those are going to end up going into the soup directly. And we'll just peel, peel a little bit here, a little bit there. And some more on here, just little bits. And this is basically carcass bone. Um, the same thing holds through for the rest of the carcass. We're going to take some of the meat. We will save some of the meat. There's an oyster in here that is actually saved by chefs. It's actually a delicacy. We'll take the skin and we'll keep that as, as well, separate. Here's another oyster. This oyster is something that, that a lot of chefs <laughs> don't give to their customers. They actually take this as they're carving a chicken and they eat it because it's really awesome. And we'll, we'll just keep that and we'll make sure that that goes into the soup as well. Uh, make sure that you don't get any bone material in with the what you're going to be uh, using for the the soup flavoring, and all of this bone comes apart basically. There's the other the other oyster right there. That's a beautiful oyster. We'll keep that there. I forget what the French word is for that, but the uh, the chefs really love that. And as you notice, as we get over here, we're putting a lot of this bone material and other things together. And we're just kind of putting it all in a, in a pile there. And I'll show you what we're going to do with that in just a minute. You try to break it into some small pieces. This one is just about done. Take a little bit more meat there. We'll do that. A little bit of meat here. And there's another piece of bone that's just very basically just going to go in there in the pile. And I think we're pretty much done here. Pretty much done. Yeah, there's nothing else. It's all bony meat. And... Another bone, a little bit of, of meat that's still good. We'll take that out, put the bone there. There's another bone in here, and we are ready. All right, so this is where we're at right now. I'm gonna wash my hands. I'll be back with you in a minute to show you what we do next. All right, we're back and we're basically set up now. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some cheesecloth here that I've pre-cut into a fairly decent size. We're going to lay this out here and basically we're going to take all of this meat or all of this bone material, the marrow and everything else, and we're going to put it in the middle of this, of this uh, uh, cheesecloth. And then we're going to do another thing. I've got a couple of sprigs of, of rosemary and rather than have them float around in the soup, I'm just going to put these in here as well. And we're going to take some thyme and we're just going to put those in there and it's all going to go in there together. And that's pretty much it. So now all we have to do is we just take the corners all the corners and we just bring it all up together and oh, there's a piece of tarragon that needs to go back down into the rest of it and we'll put that in there like this and look at what we did here we just made a nice little bundle here and then I've got some string here and all we're going to do is we're going to tie this up really tight and this is allowing all of the bone material and the marrow and everything else to flavor our soup really well while not actually making it difficult to get out later when we're ready to start eating our soup because it'll all be in this cheesecloth and separated and, and uh, easy to remove. So we just make a nice tight knot, a couple of tight knots, and we just cut that out. And we're done. And this is, this is our little flavor packet, if you will. That's, that's all bone and carcass. And that's going to go into our slow cooker. And then what we have is we have basically we're going to take some, some celery and we're just going to add that in there. Very, very simple. Makes it for a nice thing. And then we're going to have some carrots and the carrots of course we want to get rid of the tops so we'll do that. Those will go in the trash, and because these are really thick at the end, I like to split them for now so that the very ends that are really thick don't get really bad. And then we're just going to make some cuts of carrot, relatively thin. They don't have to be super thin. We just make them really nice. There's no way for this knife to cut my fingers if I do this properly. 
we're ready to add carrots. All the carrots go in. So, nice and easy, they're in there. Next we have some potatoes. We're just going to cut these into a few different slices. I like using Yukon potatoes. Yukon potatoes are, they're also called goldens or yellow potatoes. They are really just awesome uh, for taste they, they, and they, they cook really well. A lot of people use russets, but you know what? Uh, I'm, I've become a fan, big fan of Yukon potatoes for baked potatoes. For what we're doing here, um, for mashed potatoes, they work just phenomenally well. So we're just dicing these up to some degree, make sure that, uh, that they're small enough to be almost bite size when, when it finally comes out of the soup. And we'll just get a couple of those. We've got two, two potatoes to do, and we'll do those really quick. All right, in she goes. And we're just about done. Now we're going to take our onion, and there's a way to do this, as you basically the root side you keep on the side, just take off the top, cut it in half, and now it's very easy to peel at this point. We're only going to use half of this, so that's all we need. And by this point it's just, it's just a matter of this coming off, just comes off as easy as can be. We'll take this along the edge, and we're going to just do some nice easy slices through here, because we want fairly decent size size ones to do. So and then we're just gonna we're just gonna cut some slices. Makes it so easy. Make a cut here, a cut here, maybe a cut there, and we're ready to go into the soup. So let's do that. And that's all we're gonna put into the soup other than a couple of bay leaves. Uh, about half of the of the uh, of the uh, soup is going to be chicken stock. The other half we can just add water because by the time we season it and get it ready to go it's going to be perfect. So just move this over here a little bit. Here's our two bay leaves. We're going to put those, just lay them in there and now we're getting ready to put the rest of the stuff in. I'll be right back. So we're going to use just one uh, package of uh, 32 ounce chicken, chicken uh, stock. It's uh, low sodium, this one, which is reduced. And then we're just going to pour that in there. And it's not going to fill it all the way, but we'll get, it gets a lot of the, of the chicken flavor in there to start. And then it's just a matter of throwing this away. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to fill the rest of this with some, just some regular water. So we're just going to fill it very close to the very top of the, of the, about right about there, and that's about right. And then it's just a matter of doing a quick stir. Just going to make sure things are mixed up here properly. And everything's pretty much ready to go. We'll do a little seasoning. I tend to like Himalayan salt. It has a lot of uh, special features in it which make it exceptionally good for uh, your body. Uh, not just then, we'll put some pepper in here as well. And that's the wrong side. We'll do this side where we can get a little decent pepper in here. There we go. I don't measure things really closely. It's pretty much to taste. Mix it up one more time. That bag's in there with all of the good stuff from the chicken carcass. And then we're, we're pretty much ready to go. Plug it in, put the top on, lock it up. This is just a cheap slow cooker, but that's, you don't need anything really expensive for a slow cooker or a crock pot. Pretty simple. Turn it on high, I'll wait for it to boil, and then I'll turn it down. This part of the chicken we'll add a little bit later as it gets a little bit more uh, uh, cooked. And those will go in just to add some chicken uh, into the actual soup itself that's uh, going to be edible. Uh, the rest of it is, here is our, here is our, our completed, um, the carved chicken. Everything is in there. It's got nice breasts, drumsticks, thighs, and some wings. And those can be chopped down into sandwich meat and other things. And that's what uh, I make for my wife once a week because she takes some to work every day. And, and that's how that works. All right, well, that's pretty much it. We're done. We're just waiting for this to boil. 
I'll come back uh, a little bit later and just give you a shot of the soup as it's completed and I think uh, you'll see that it's really good. It's, it's awful tasty when we do it this way. All right, so it's been 24 hours since we first started this soup and it's time to uh, actually do something with it. So the first thing we're going to do is it's just been kept warm after some time. We have what's left here and it's all set to go. The first thing we need to do is we need to remove the bag of all of our bones and uh, the goodies in here. And we will make it just try to drain as much ooh, that's hot, as loud as possible. And all this is just going to be thrown away. There's really nothing to do with it. So we'll just put that in there for now. And we'll get our spoon and just uh, look at that, look how nice this is. We want to get the bay leaves out of here. There's two of them in here, so we need to find the other one. No, we don't want to eat those. There it is. And we have the, the bay leaves out. This is now perfectly good soup. And to kind of give you an idea of exactly what this is going to look like in a bowl, we just move that around. We'll get a nice little bit here and take a look at that. Just look at that. And this is just about as good as it gets. And that, my friends, is a chicken soup from scratch that is just absolutely perfect. Easy to make and uh, easy to cook. And, you know, 24 hours at the most is all you really need. Um, and it's going to keep warm for some time. A little bit of seasoning and it's just perfect. So, all I have to say is bon appetit and have some fun with cooking. Hi, just a little blurb at the end of the video. I hope that you liked our rendition of cooking a chicken soup from scratch uh, using just a few vegetables in a very inexpensive uh, crock pot uh, or slow cooker, whichever way you want to describe it. If you liked it, I'd really appreciate it if you'd push that like button below. And if you choose to, to subscribe, we'll be adding a lot of videos. Our videos will include a lot of different cooking, um, different techniques. Uh, we'll be doing reviews of various kitchen products. We'll be doing gardening videos uh, when, once the spring and the summer come back and also projects around the house and the kitchen. Uh, as we build, we're still learning. I'm getting better at creating videos. Hopefully we'll get them shorter and a little bit tighter uh, as we go along. It's a learning process. So if you continue to watch us, you'll see a hopefully constant improvement as we continue to build out the YouTube site. Uh, I put links below to some of the items that we used in this video, including the slow cooker that we used. It's just a Hamilton Beach. It's a very inexpensive one. But I've also added links to a couple of higher end ones uh, if you choose to go a little bit more in depth into uh, abilities of slow cookers. Also the kuma knife that I used to cutting up the chicken in this video. It's an exceptionally good Japanese uh, built knife and I've also added a link in case you're interested in taking a look and buying that. It's very inexpensive, very, very high value. In the meantime, I look forward to having you back. Please leave a comment or two positive or negative, it, its critiques are always helpful to us. And until the next time, I look forward to, to providing videos for you. You have a great day, great week, great month, whatever you're doing. Take care.